Hello, and welcome to this overview of the Southern Reinforcement Natural Gas Pipeline Project. This natural gas pipeline project is located in Howard County, Maryland, about 15 miles southwest of Baltimore. In order to meet the increasing energy demands of the region's growing residential, commercial, and industrial populations, BGE is constructing a natural gas pipeline that will ensure its ability to provide safe and reliable gas service to the public. The purpose of this video is to explain and illustrate the proposed project. The project begins just north of Clarksville and continues southeast to end just north of Laurel, covering a distance of about 14 miles. The project is bordered on the west by Maryland Route 216 and Maryland Route 32 on the east. The new pipeline will supply a consistent source of natural gas to meet the region's needs today and the demands of tomorrow. The pipeline will provide gas to more than 200,000 customers in Howard, Anne Arundel, Baltimore, Prince George's, and Montgomery counties. While designing this project, BGE considered several different routes or locations for the pipeline. Each route was evaluated to determine its impact on both the human and natural environment. Factors that were considered during the decision-making process include impacts to the public, property owners, wetlands, waterways, and floodplains, threatened and endangered species, forested areas, historical and cultural resources, parklands and conservation areas, and farmland. After evaluating the routes, BGE chose the route that provides the most benefit with the least amount of impact. This route utilizes large parcels for new pipeline easements for the first half of the route, an existing electric transmission corridor for the second half. BGE worked with property owners to negotiate easements for the new pipeline. Construction will occur adjacent to existing transmission lines, through farmland, developed and residential areas, streams, wetlands, and some forested areas. Special construction techniques such as directional drilling and temporary wetland mats will be used to reduce impacts and protect sensitive areas. The construction process will require several steps. Crews will first survey the project area to determine the location for the pipeline and mark a 75-foot wide construction area. The construction area consists of a 50-foot wide permanent easement and a 25-foot wide temporary easement used only during construction. Equipment will then grade and remove trees and shrubs from the area to provide a safe working environment. Next, a three to five foot deep trench will be dug to hold the pipe. The pipe will be laid along the side of the trench. If needed, some sections of the pipe will be bent to accommodate elevation changes and horizontal changes. Road crossings will require a different trenching technique. To protect roadway surfaces and keep traffic moving, crews will bore beneath the roadway. The pipe used for road crossings has a thicker coating to provide extra protection during installation. In small wetland areas, construction impacts will be minimized by the use of temporary wetland mats. The wooden mats will be laid down on top of the wetland for crews and equipment to work on during construction. In other areas, such as wide stream crossings, directional drilling techniques will be required to safely install the pipe beneath the area. In these instances, a trailer-mounted drilling rig will be positioned to drill at a slight angle reaching a depth of approximately 30 feet and spanning distances of up to 3,000 feet. Once the pipeline is clear of the protected area, it will angle back up to the surface. Before the pipe can be laid into the trench, it is first positioned on wooden skids for welding. The skids give the welders access to the entire circumference of the pipe. The pipe is welded on both the inside and outside. This welding process provides the required fusion and strength to join the pipes permanently. 
The joints are then inspected by non-destructive methods to verify the weld's integrity. Once the welds have passed inspections, a coating is applied to provide additional protection. The pipe is now ready to be placed into the trench. Before the pipe is lowered into the trench, the bottom of the trench is padded with sand for cushioning. The soil is then pushed back into the trench to cover the pipe. Before the pipe is put into service, a final hydrostatic test must be performed. The test pumps water through each section of joined pipe creating an internal pressure that exceeds the pressure the pipe will be subject to during operation. After the trench has been filled, the construction area will be cleaned up and vegetation restored. The 50-foot wide permanent easement area will be graded smooth and reseeded with native grasses. All fences or structures removed during construction will be replaced and marker signs will identify the pipe's location. The 25-foot wide temporary easement area will be reseeded and allowed to return to its natural condition. BGE is committed to continued maintenance and servicing of the pipeline following construction. Public safety is a high priority and numerous measures are required by law to protect the public. Regular aerial and ground inspections as well as a damage prevention program are just several parts of BGE's safety practices for long-term operation of the pipeline. Thank you for watching this video. BGE appreciates your patience as we work to improve service in the Howard County and surrounding region. BGE will continue to work closely with the public and property owners to make sure the construction process proceeds as smoothly as possible.